I was going to start this poem with some captivating lines like a quote of something from the past. But then I remember. I remember the story of a miracle that happened to me. A miracle they call luck but I call it grace. I call it answered prayers. I call it the promise of my Lord. A miracle that appeared like the constellations of the stars, the moon, and everything the night sky embodies. Dazzling, sparkling, when my word blinks. So showing me and daring me to ask for the impossible. So ask for the impossible. I dare you to ask for the impossible. Asking for the possible and impossible is believing God is the most powerful. His powers are limitless and impossible. There is no such word in the dictionary of God. Impossible is a word we created with our human boundaries. Boundaries don't don't apply to God. He is limitless, timeless, magnificent, majestic, bountiful, responding one, eternal, provider, self-sufficient, most generous, sustainer. He is the God. Show me who other than God is capable of granting us the impossible when our possible only stops where our imagination stops. I dare you to ask for the impossible. If there is any pie in the sky, ask for it. And as sure as the promise of my Lord is, you shall be answered. Maybe not directly, but you shall be answered. It may be a yes. A yes, but not yet. Or I have a better plan for you, so be at rest. Do not, I mean, do not let anything stop you from asking. You have not because you ask not. Do not let anything stop you from asking, not even your sins. Repent, and you shall be as innocent as a child in the sight of your Lord. Repent and ask. Do not be deceived by the whispers of the devil telling you, you are not worthy of asking, and as grey as your soul is, if you turn back and ask, you shall find your slate as pure as a toddler's, and your answered prayers as sweet as honey. Hang on to it. Believe in it with conviction. Do away with limitations and await the miracles of your prayers. The miracle that split the Red Sea for Musa, that cooled the fire for Ibrahim, that healed Jacob, that saved Yunus from the belly of the whale in the darkest part of the ocean. The miracle that handed victory unto the 300 Muslims facing thousands. The miracle that saved Yusuf from the world. Ask for anything. Ask for the salt in your food, the lace of your shoe, and everything you can imagine as far as your dreams can take you. Limited imaginations you have but God will give you what you deserve. Ask and trust him to shock you with his answer. Ask anywhere, anytime. He is all hearing. You don't need an intermediary. Not even the mosque is a necessity to raise your hands and ask. Ask in the corner of your room, in the brightness of the day, the darkness of the night, at your lowest, at your sweetest moment. And if there is anything you want or need, ask me. This is the promise it made to you and me. Prayer is not just about asking in diet. It's really about conversing with God in the language he understands, talking to him, connecting with him in his most beloved way, and asking, asking as a child would ask and whine to his mother with desperation. He created us, he made us, and he loves it when you ask him, talk to him, call upon him, so ask and you shall be given. Prayer keep you firm in the face of obstacles, in the face of uncertainties. Prayer is not only for those moments you feel tired, but also for those moments you feel fine. Prayer is there to assure you there is a higher being waiting to save you, waiting to hand you a life jacket in your drowning moment, waiting to be your oxygen when you run out of one, to be your sword waiting to be wielded, to be your medicine waiting to heal you. And when you're faced with the difficulties of life, remind it, yes, remind it, that you have a God above the seven skies who is gracefully waiting to wipe away your tears and listen to your cries, lift you and say, come my servant, come, for you always find me close, closer to you than your jugular vein, and I listen, listen to you, to your cries, your wants, the noiseless and loudest crack in your heart I know, but I want to hear your voice, so ask me, and I would grant you, grant you your wishes more than a genie would, make your barren soul fatal again bring you light when your word blinks and if you believe prayer can change your destiny let your prayer take flight make it the essence of your existence when the harsh storm of life eats you raise your hand bow your head and dial the lifeline that connects you to the divine a gentle whisper from your heart is enough to open the doors of miracles let prayer be your shield your guide your lifeline your shelter your lantern in the winter let's pray you sail you through the storm of life asking from your lord doesn't make you a weakling it's an invitation from your lord accept it ask with vulnerability ask crying ask whispering he hears it all and just as the prophet found salvation we can too and i hope you believe all utterly in his words of compassion call upon me and i'll surely answer you